um, coming back from teaching on retreat always like offers me kind of like a re-energized um, sense of like inspiration for um, diving deeper into the practice. So I'm really grateful for that. Um, but I feel like yoga is kind of an overwhelming, <laughs> uh, vast like wealth of things to dive into, like between the philosophy and um, also like the energetics, it's just so much. And so when I wanna come back to foundation, I find myself returning to the, the yamas and the niyamas. Um, in our yoga practice, we have the eight limbs of yoga and the yamas and the niyamas are one and two. And then we have like asana after that. So the shapes, the movements, the asana, the physical practice is like one eighth, um, it's just one part of the practice. And the yamas and niyamas um, precede that. And um, so starting at the beginning, <laughs> The, the first yama is ahimsa. And um, when I was revisiting ahimsa, this idea of nonviolence, the foundation of everything that becomes um, all the yamas and niyamas is built off of ahimsa, nonviolence. And um, nonviolence or to do no harm or to move with compassion and kindness, like there's so many different ways we can interpret that and apply that both on our yoga mat and off. But um, what came up for me this time around of connecting to Ahimsa is this idea of the dissolution of separateness. Um, so much of harm comes from fear, right? Um, fear of the unknown or the unfamiliar, or the separation of us and them or me and you. and that separation is often what breeds um, the fear and fear leads to harm. And so um, our yoga practice is a practice of coming into union, um, coming into deep connection. Um, and so using our yoga practice to dissolve that separateness, to recognize that we are more similar than different, <laughs> um, that, we all have the common de denominator of our breath required to offer us this day, this moment, um, that we all move through trials and tribulations, uh, experiences of joy and experience of a deep, um, I don't, it can be anything, <laughs> deep pain, deep fear. Um, but at the end of the day, right, when we actually break the barrier and go beyond the surface with one another, we see that, that the separateness is an illusion. And so um, allowing our practice to be about this dissolution of the separateness, um, to recognize that we are all one um, and that that's really taking us onto the path of yoga, of union. Um, another thing that I think can be really applicable to our practice today on the mat is um, acknowledging um, how we speak to ourselves in our practice, right? To do no harm and to practice nonviolence also means to apply that within. So when we are being unkind to ourselves through the thoughts that we offer towards our bodies, if our hamstrings are tight or whatnot, um, to practice just acknowledging that and to recognize it um, and over time to start to dissolve that as well. Because um, the degree of what we offer kindness and love and compassion to ourselves is that which we can offer out. So allowing ahimsa to be the foundation of our practice today and just seeing how that shows up for you, right? Maybe this idea of nonviolence um, brings something else to the forefront for you than the dissolution of separateness, but um, that's just what was showing up for me this week. With that, we're gonna um, start in Shavasana and just with a little bit of breath awareness and breath connection. So finding your way to your back body, take a moment to settle into your space. Sink into the support of the earth. Just feeling that relationship between you and the ground holding you up. 
trusting and the sturdy support below. Giving yourself permission to really let go into this moment, to arrive present to your practice, present to this moment in body, breath, heart, and mind. And as you gather all the layers of yourself to this moment right here, right now, go ahead and take a really deep, expansive breath in. And when you're ready, an open mouth exhale, just let it go. You take a deep inhale through the nose, fill your lungs all the way to the top again. And as you're ready, a cleansing, clearing, open mouth, exhale, release. One more time, deep inhale. And when you're ready, empty that breath all the way out, release all the air. Allowing your lips to seal, ujjayi breath in through your nose, strong, intentional in-breath. And maintain the seal of your lips, ujjayi breath out through your nose, intentional exhale. So you continue with your ujjayi breath, maybe making a gentle commitment to the practice of ahimsa. And also knowing that as you practice, as you move across your yoga mat, it's an opportunity to apply the tool of discernment, to really listen and be in conversation with your body about what feels true and right for you and honoring that, to practice kindness to your physical vessel. And with this practice of ahimsa in your heart, in your mind, as you continue with your ujjayi breath, this really slowly and gradually brings some movement in. So this can be just the subtle expansion and contraction of your fingers and your toes. This feeling how sensation shifts with that subtle movement. And then maybe start to add in some slow rotations through your ankles and your wrists. Take a couple rotations in each direction, maybe two to three each way. Feeling all the moments along that range of motion, noticing how your joints feel. And then you'll listen for an inhale and as you breathe in, send your arms overhead to your full body stretch. Find length from fingers to toes, feel the extension of your spine. And then exhale to bring both your knees into your chest. Take a little rock from side to side. Maybe draw some circles, with your knees. Just continuing the process of checking in with your body. And then take a nice big breath in. And with your exhale, let both your knees fall to the left into a gentle twist. Find a sense of ease through your right shoulder. Relax your legs to the support of the earth and then take one big breath down the length of your right side. And your exhale may be clear, a little bit more of the clutter from your mind, releasing any thoughts that have started to creep in. And as you're ready from your twist, we're gonna to roll to our left side into a fetal pose. So your legs will stay generally where they're at. You can reach your left arm overhead. So as you roll onto your left side body, your head can rest into your left bicep. From here, you have the option to reach your right hand for your right foot to find this variation of your bow pose, kind of like your dancer's pose. And as you pull your heel towards your seat, gently draw navel to spine offering some engagement through the front line of your body to lengthen through the back body. Encourage your tailbone slightly forward and then feel your right thigh bone sliding energetically back in space. 
a little bit of encouragement of your right shoulder back as well so your collarbones get nice and wide across your chest. Take one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, you're gonna send your right leg long towards the front of your yoga mat. And start to roll onto your back body. Bring your left knee into your chest when you're moving close, left knee towards your left shoulder. From here, you're gonna switch the grip of your hands to um, your left hamstring, so behind your thigh. Keeping your left knee pulled to your chest, we're going to find a little bit of hamstring extension. So having your left thigh pulled in close, your range of motion might be less, and that's okay. Just slowly find a little bit of extension with your left leg. It doesn't have to be much. Maybe it's just like a 90 degree angle. And then bend again. We'll do that twice more. So keeping your left thigh pulled in. Inhale, find a little bit of length through your left leg. Just that like first point of resistance maybe. And exhale to bend. Last time like this, we'll inhale, find any amount of extension. Again, it doesn't have to be much. We're just kind of waking up our hamstrings. And exhale to bend. Now from here, we're gonna send our left leg up to the sky, releasing your hands. Left leg goes tall, flex your left heel towards the ceiling. And then engage your core, start to hover your right leg off the earth. Pressing energy through both heels, strength through both legs. Reach your hands up and overhead to get a nice big breath in. Legs will sit the same as you exhale. Just use your core to lift your head, your shoulders, and your arms, reaching forward to the front of your yoga mat. You do that same movement with the arms, but keep the shoulders lifted. So as you inhale, reach your hands to the sky. Maybe they can go overhead, but try to keep your shoulders high. And exhale, hands reach forward. Good. One more time, chest stays lifted, shoulders high. Just inhale, reach your hands to the sky, maybe a little bit overhead. And exhale, hands go forward. Go ahead and release your knees to your chest. Let your head and shoulders drop back. Take a nice big breath in. On your exhale, let your knees fall to the right. Gentle twist, second side. And as you lower your left shoulder to the earth, find one intentional breath. Slow and steady, empty that breath out all the way. And then as you're ready, roll to your right side to find fetal pose. Let your right ear rest into your right bicep and then your left hand's gonna reach down to maybe catch your left foot. Great openness across your chest, that gentle engagement through your core center. And then feel your left thigh bone sliding energetically back to the wall behind you. Once you find the opening, that stretch, that sensation, just send one big breath down the front left side of your body. Take your time, just when you're ready, there's no rush. You're gonna to start to send your left leg long towards the front of your yoga mat. So you roll to your back body, bring your right knee towards your right shoulder when you're moving pose. Once you pull your right thigh in, you're gonna switch your grip to behind your right thigh on your hamstring. Keeping your right thigh close, use an inhale to find a little bit of extension through your right leg. Again, it doesn't have to be much. It might be a pretty small range of motion, that's okay. And exhale to bend. Take it twice more. We inhale, find some length, find that first point of resistance. It might be a little quivery, that's okay. And then exhale to bend. Last round like this. Inhale, any amount of extension for the strength of your right hamstring. And then exhale to bend. Moving into that little core connection as you release your hands, reach your right leg up high, sending energy through your right heel. So you let up your core, hover your left leg off the earth, press energy through your left heel forward. Hands reach up and overhead, take a nice big breath in. As you exhale, you slow and strong lift head and shoulders and hands. Now to the best of your ability, try to keep your head, your shoulders, your heart lifted. Just reach your hands up to the sky, maybe slightly overhead, breath in. 
exhale forward. Maybe your heart lifts slightly taller. And one more time. Inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, hands reach forward. And then release your knees to your chest, head and shoulders drop back. Take a deep breath in. And open mouth, exhale, release. And start to find your way up to your tabletop pose. So finding all fours. Take a moment to organize yourself so your shoulders are over your wrists, hips are over your knees, your fingers nice and wide. And inhale takes you to your cow pose. Release your belly. You scoop your heart and tailbone up tall. On your exhale, take your time, press and curl to your cat pose, shoulder blades spread open at the back of your heart. Then find two more cycles with your breath, maybe adding in some additional movement, whatever feels intuitive this morning for your spine. We're taking about one more cycle here, your inhale to open your front line. And your exhale to create space through the back of your body. We'll come back into neutral in our tabletop. Send your left foot out to the side so you're in an extended leg tabletop. Get strong with your left leg. Try to anchor through the four corners of your left foot or plant your left foot as completely and firmly as you can. Then take a big breath in. Your exhale, send your hips back in space any amount, reaching your hips back towards your right heel. Your range of motion is going to be unique to you. And we'll take that twice more. Inhale, just a little shift forward. And exhale, shift back. Good. One more time. Inhale, forward. And exhale, back any amount. This next time that you shift forward, take a breath in. And your exhale is going to slide your left foot across towards the right side. So left leg long, take your left toes towards the right side of your yoga mat as you plant through the ball mound of your foot. You're gonna take a little twist to the right with your torso. So peeking over your right shoulder, crunch through your right side. Gentle squeeze through your inner thighs. Long and strong left leg. And then release into your tabletop. We'll just go into second side right away. Right foot's gonna go to the right. Find that firm connection through the sole of your right foot to the earth. Strong through the length of your right leg. Take a breath in. And exhale, reach your hips back in space. Feeling your inner right thigh open. Ball your inhale forward. And let your exhale slide your hips back. Last cycle, breath in, shifts you forward. And exhale, reach your hips back. Feel the stretch, the opening. This next time you'll inhale forward, keeping your right leg long, exhale, sweep your right toes over towards the left side of your yoga mat, plant to the ball mound of your foot. And then start to Contract and crunch into your left side. So peeking over your left shoulder towards your right heel. Feel length through your right side body. Right. Feel your left hip hug to the midline. And then we'll find our tabletop pose once again. Get strong through your hands. Just for a moment, step into your high plank pose. Big inhale as you push into the earth. On your exhale, soften your knees and press back to downward facing dog. Okay, take a slow paddle through your heels, reaching one heel to the earth, then over time, the opposite. Release and relax through your head. And when you're ready, a big breath in is going to reach your right leg to the sky, three legged dog. Exhale to bend your knee and open your hip. So you push the earth away, take an extra inhale. So we exhale your right foot forward to the top of your yoga mat. 
lower your left knee all the way down to the ground. And then just come to your fingertips first. Think about hugging your left knee forward. So engage your left glute, drag your left knee isometrically forward, push down into your right foot and feel your right foot pulling back. So you should feel a lot of engagement through your lower body, especially your inner right thigh, your right hamstring. Once you have that, activate your core to lift your heart and your hands. So there's this hugging center to, or hugging action to center through your legs, both legs super active, belly strong. As you reach high, take a breath in. Your right hand will grab your left wrist, take a side body stretch to your right as you breathe out. Think about lengthening through your tailbone, lifting your ribs off your pelvis to create extension. We'll breathe back through the midline, lift and lengthen to the sky. And exhale brings your hands to the earth. Half split, Ardha Hanumanasana, lengthen your right leg. So you can always adjust where your right foot is on your yoga mat. You can walk your hands back. You can also bring blocks underneath your hands. But flex your right toes towards your face. And find that same dragging action. Left knee drags gently forward, right heels dragging gently back. Breathe some length along your spine. And then when you're ready, take your time to bend into your front knee. So you lift your back knee off the earth. Step forward to your forward fold. Left foot meets your right. Now soften your knees, relax your belly to your thighs. Take one breath here. With an inhale, begin to find your half bay lift, Ardha Uttanasana, find extension from crown to tail. And then exhale forward, full, let it go, soft moves to your knees. We're gonna roll up to standing, so as you inhale, back of the heart leads the way. Take your time to roll all the way up. At the top, your exhale is a shoulder shrug to open your chest. Big breath in, circle sweep your hands to the sky, Urdhva Hastasana. And exhale, hands to heart center, option to close your eyes, coming back to our intention of Ahimsa. Deep inhale through your nose. And then just open mouth, exhale, let it go. Then your breath in, reach your hands up tall, Urdhva Hastasana. As you exhale, forward fold, soften your knees and dive down to the earth. Use your next in-breath to find a halfway lift, extend your spine long, and we'll exhale to our high plank, plant your hands, take a mindful step back. Then creating a strong plank position, push the earth away, recruit the strength of your thighs and your core. Think about creating buoyancy underneath your body. So as you push down, think about like a balloon of energy underneath you, helping to puff you up. Your head in line with your spine. Inhale to shift forward. Exhale slowly to your belly. Maybe knees come to the earth for support. Maybe not. Elbows slide straight backwards. You'll untuck your toes. Start to find your low cobra. Strong anchor through your feet. Inhale to lift through your heart. You want pulling your chest forward and through. Feel the activation of your spine staying here as you empty your lungs. An extra breath in and exhale, let it go. We will inhale to low cobra or perhaps your high cobra this time. So, invitation to recruit your arms to lift a little taller. Collarbones actively stretch across your chest and slow exhale to lower down. Last cycle is low cobra, high cobra. Option for upward facing dog as you breathe in. If you lengthen your arms and float your thighs. We'll exhale to downward facing dog, hips go to the sky. Big breath in reaches your left leg up tall. Your exhale, bend your knee and open your head. So you take an inhale, push the earth away, relax your head. Exhale, left foot steps forward to the top of your yoga mat. Release your right knee down to the ground. Start by coming just to your fingertips. And find that energy through your legs. So right knee is dragging slightly forward. Squeeze to your right seat. 
I'm gonna push actively down through your left foot first. After you push down, pull your left heel isometrically back. Once you have that energy, lift your heart and hands from the power of your core. Drawing your front ribs gently in, but keeping the lift through your sternum. Left hand's gonna grab your right wrist. Take an in breath, lengthen up. Exhale, gentle tip to your left side body stretch. I'm pausing here for a breath, maintaining that upward energy through your rib cage. Keep the energy through your legs. You should feel a lot of activation. We'll rise through center when you're ready. Ardha Hanumanasana, your half splits. Hands come to the earth or blocks and then lengthen to your left leg. Again, we wanna make this active, so flex your left toes to your face. Pull your left heel back, your right knee forward. Think about untucking your tailbone, like a cow spine, heart and tailbone, get proud. Good. Offer one more cycle of breath to your hamstring stretch. I'm gonna start to bend into your front knee. Back knee lifts off the ground, step forward to your forward fold. Right away, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen up. Exhale, forward fold, soften through your knees. Inhale, roll up to standing back, and the heart will lead the way. Use that entire breath in to rise. Exhale through your shoulder shrug, that can be as big as you want it to be. Circle sweep with your arms, Urdhva Hastasana as you gather in. Hands to heart, center breath out. Back to our intention, we take an inhale. As you're ready, open mouth, exhale. Breath in, reach up high. Exhale, forward fold, dive to the earth. Breath in, lift up halfway. Use your breath out to reconnect to your high plank pose. From plank, inhale, shifts you forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway or all the way this time. Untuck your toes for up dog or cobra with inhale. Exhale to your downward facing dog, hips go up and back. We'll reset with the breath together. Inhale through your nose. And open up, exhale, let it go. Inhale your right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip. Take a big breath in. Knee to nose as your exhale out. Shift forward, pull your thigh into your chest. Three-legged dog, inhale, right leg reaches tall again. Slow and strong, exhale your right foot to the front of your yoga mat. Left knee is gonna come to a hover. As you find your cow lunge, you're gonna get super strong through your legs, engage your core, and then climb your hands up to your right thigh to bring yourself upright. If this doesn't feel right for your body, you can also bring your left knee all the way down to the ground, so you decide. Notice if you're kind of hinged or rounded forward over your thigh, try to engage your core and your left glute and press your heart more upright. We're gonna keep our right hand pressing into right thigh. Reach your left hand to the sky, big breath in. Then baby side bend as you exhale, tip to the right just a little bit. Navel to spine connection is strong. Notice that your knees are in alignment with your hips and your ankles. If there's a tendency for your knees to maybe collapse inward or out. And with the breath in, slowly rise to center through your torso, reach both your hands to the sky, and exhale your hands down to the earth. Lengthen both your legs, hamstring stretch. Let's inhale to lengthen the heart forward, keeping your legs long. For your exhale, dive down towards your right thigh. Your head be heavy. Take one cycle of breath here. And one breath out. Begin to bend into your right knee. Then use your core to mindfully step to your chair pose, Utkatasana. 
So your left foot joins your right, let your seat get low. You can activate your lower body to lift your upper. And take a breath just to arrive, to settle into the shape. Maybe your inhale offers a little extra extension into your spine. Then exhale, hands to heart center. Getting energized through our right foot to the same leg. We're gonna to start to come to left to be toes. When you're ready, flamingo your left heel up and in. Getting the strength of your right side. Reaching crescent, hands can stay at heart center if you want. Keeping the hinge to your torso, take a giant step back with your left toes. Act to see your core option to reach your hands overhead just for one big breath in. On your exhale, hands come down to the earth. Turn all 10 toes to the left side of your yoga mat. And finding a lateral side lunge, bend into your left knee. So we're gonna keep the sole of our right foot grounded for our lateral lunge. Nice and strong through your legs, take an inhale. On your exhale, wide-legged forward fold, dive down through center. We're gonna pulse that twice more. So inhale, bend your left knee, feel your sitting bones stretch backwards. And then exhale, wide-legged forward fold, lengthen your legs, dive down. Last round, inhale, left knee bends, side lunge. And exhale, legs lengthen, wide legged like forward fold. This time turning to the back of your yoga mat, low lunge to frame your left foot, all 10 toes pivot with you. Stepping into either a one legged plank or a high plank, inhale, send your left leg back in space. Exhale, chaturanga or downward dog. So decide if you want to move through your flow. If you'd like to go directly to downward facing dock. So you're right and down dog. Take a big breath in here. And then open mouth, exhale out. We'll inhale, left leg high to the sky. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip. Gather in a breath. Need to nose as you breathe out, pulling in through your center, navel to spine as you shift forward. Three-legged dog, reach your left leg up high. Slow and with purpose, left foot steps to the top of your yoga mat. You might start by rising to your fingertips. Right knee's gonna come to a hover cow lunge. Get super strong through your legs and your glutes. And then engage your core, hands climb up to your left thigh, pressing your torso upright. Again, always the option for your right knee to release down to the ground. That Anjane Asana variation we were in before. So you pull your navel back and up. Squeeze through your right glute by pressing through the ball mount of your right foot. Left hand presses into left thigh, reach your right hand high with an inhale. And then gently tip towards your left as you exhale. Feel your outer left hip hugging to the midline. Right hip is hugging gently forward. Inner thighs are active for stability. Checking that our knees are in line with our ankle and hip joints. One more moment. Full inhale brings you upright. Send both your hands to the sky. And then exhale your hands to the earth and lengthen both your legs. If you need to adjust the distance of your feet, you can always adjust your feet. Once you have both legs long, keep your inner thighs active. And then inhale, lengthen through your heart. Exhale, fold towards your left thigh. Pause for a cycle of breath. You're ready, bend into your front knee. Now mindful transition to Utkatasana chair pose. So try to use muscular energy. We minimize momentum when we step forward, build it from the earth up, slowly. You've all have glasses. 
Going to take a nice full breath in. Oh. And exhale your hands to heart center. Take a moment just to establish your chair pose. And then we're gonna keep the left leg as our working leg just for a moment. So left leg stays strong. Maybe lift to your right to be toes. As you draw into your core, flamingo your right heel up. Feel the power of your glute driving all the way through your left leg. Stepping to our reaching crescent, hands can remain at heart center as you slowly stick that big step back with your right toes. Or you can inhale your hands overhead for that moment of extension. Front ribs still drawn in. And exhale your hands to the earth. We'll turn our toes to the right to bend your right knee for your side lunge, your lateral lunge. So this is kind of like a progression from that extended leg tabletop. So same energy as your extended left leg. Take a breath in. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold, lengthen, dive down. Inhale, side lunge, bend your right knee, find length through your spine. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Last time, inhale, side lunge to your right. And exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Taking a rotation to your right quarter, turn to the top of your yoga mat, low lunge. You decide one-legged plank or high plank as you push the earth away. Intentional reach back of your right leg as you inhale. Exhale, chaturanga or downward facing dog. As you find down dog, let's take a collective breath in, push the earth away, relax your head. And open mouth, exhale out. Good. Last little bit of effort here. We're going to inhale right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Same as before, exhale to bend your knee and open through your hip. Take an inhale in. Exhale knee towards your nose. Three-legged dog, inhale, right leg reaches up and back. Exhale, places your right foot forward to the top of your yoga mat. Get strong through your legs. We're going to reach our hands forward and up to find high crescent lunge. So build your foundation. Once your lower body is ready, core is strong. Inhale, reach forward and up, high crescent. And your exhale, right hand grabs your left wrist. Take a side bend to your left. Breathing in, reach and rise through center. Exhale your hands towards the earth. Gentle standing splits, shift into your right foot, reach your left toes towards the sky, any amount. Hip can be closed or open. Take a breath in. Exhale, chair pose, place your left foot to the earth. Find your strong seat, breathe in as you reach. Exhale, brings hands to heart center. Right foot becomes our base, so right foot stays on the earth. Flamingo to your left side. Adding in our airplane pose here, focus your gaze. With an inhale, slowly start to expand towards your airplane. As you exhale, can you draw your shoulder blades towards each other to broaden your collarbones across your chest? One more breath in to your reaching crescent. Slowly step your left toes back, hands to heart, or reach your hands forward with your inhale. Hands to the earth is our exhale. Turn your toes to the left, bend your left knee for your lateral side lunge. Option this time to stay as you were before or to engage your legs and core and spread your wings open. Feeling that energy at the back of your heart. From here, press to rise. Length and reach tall just for your breath in. Exhale, side lunge to your right. Spread your wings open. Completing the circle, wide-legged forward fold. Lengthen your legs, dive down. 
Take a breath in and take a breath out. And we're gonna continue to second side. So start to turn to your left towards the back of your yoga mat. One-legged plank or high plank. Inhale to transition. Exhale, chaturanga or a downward facing dog. And then you're down dog. Take a deep, deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Here we go, last bit. And then we're gonna bring it to the earth. Using your breath to support your movement. Inhale, left leg goes high. Exhale, bend your knee and open your hip. As you inhale, can you revisit your intention? Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. Three-legged dog, left leg goes up and back with your breath. Exhale, slow and strong, left foot lands between your hands when you give it a boost. Establish the strong foundation through your legs first. Once that's ready, activate your core. Sweep forward and up, high crescent lunge on your inhalation. With your exhale, left hand catches right wrist, tip to your left. You soften your shoulders out of your ears, give this a moment. Slow, strong inhale, rise and reach tall. Exhale towards your standing splits. Take your time in the transition, really shift into your left foot. Big push to your left foot to sweep your right leg up. And hip can be closed or open. Think about lengthening energy out through your right leg. Take a breath in. As you exhale, bend both your knees, your left knee too, as you find chair. Use your core to step your right foot down. Inhale, lift through your heart and hands. Stretching six bones back. Exhale, hands to heart. The left foot is your base. Flamingo through your right side. Take a moment to find steadiness in your body and your breath. And use an inhale to lengthen into your airplane pose. <clears throat> and exhale, refine again. Can we create space across the collarbones? Externally rotate your upper arm bones. Reach energy through the crown of your head and back through your right foot. Full in breath. Exhaling to your version of reaching crescent hands to heart. Or inhale your hands overhead for that moment. Exhale your hands to the earth. We turn to the right and bend to the right knee. Your side at lunge. Option to move through that big circle with me, activating through your legs, maybe spread your wings, really squeeze through your shoulder blades, making space to the front line. Root to rise tall, inhale, slow and strong, lengthen up. Exhale to the left, second side. To your wide-legged forward fold, both legs go long, dive down. Full breath in. Maybe open up, exhale here. Let's take two more cycles of breath using the space we've been creating through our hamstrings. You wanna find a little shift forwards and backwards or any variation here, feel free to do so. Take another breath or two. No rush, but when you feel complete in your wide-legged forward fold, you're going to start to rotate to the front of your yoga mat through your low lunge. Last opportunity for your chaturanga. One-legged plank or high plank as you inhale, you decide. And then down dog or chaturanga as you exhale. Breathing into your heart opening if you chose to move through a flow. On your out breath to send your hips up and back. We'll settle into a child's pose together. Knees go gently wide. 
Big toes to touch, sink your hips to your heels and soften your chest towards the earth. Resting your forehead to your yoga mat, take a really full breath in. And open mouth, exhale out. There's no rush, but when you feel complete in your child's pose, go ahead and make your way up to a seat. We're gonna do a little bit more hip opening. Um, yeah, we'll do one little hip opening thing before we lay down. So, you can just be at the top of your yoga mat. We'll take either a cross-legged seat or you can also choose double pigeon if you know your hips appreciate that variation. So we'll go right shin in front or right shin on top. Ooh, after travel, I'm going to stick with cross-legged seat. <laughs> Once you pick your variation, you might untuck the flesh from beneath your sits bones so you have a nice foundation of sits bones to earth. Inhale to rise and reach top, and exhale, dive forward any amount. Trying to find a sense of ease through your upper body, so maybe using the supportive blocks or your forearms to help hold you. Then release and relax your head, allowing a stretch to the nape of your neck. Send two more deep breaths down through your hips. Feel free to spend a little bit more time here. Otherwise, as you're ready, just rise up. If you need to take like a little wind shield right for a moment, just tween sides, take a moment to reset. And then we'll just find second side. So either left shin in front or left shin on top. Adjust your seat if you need to. Inhale, reaching tall, just noticing how second side feels already. And exhale to dive forward any amount. And finding a way to support your upper body so your shoulders can release back and down. And then allow the weight of your head to go as you take three rounds of breath. And no need to rush, but when you feel complete, make your way up and out. You got maybe send your legs long this time, give them a little shake out. And we'll start to find our way to the back body. Invitation to use your core here, or just to release backwards. So option for your heel anchors, maybe knees are bent, feet are flexed actively into the earth to light up through your core. Taking your breath in, reach your hands up high. Try to create some space between shoulders and ears. Once you have that activation through your core center, slowly and gently start to release backwards, descending through the strength of your core. You start to use your hands as a little counterbalance, slowly sending your hands forward. You can always adjust your feet if you need to draw your heels closer. And once you arrive to your back body, maybe take a full body stretch breath in. 
And draw your knees to your chest on your exhale out. Draw some circles with your knees, a couple rotations in each direction, just feeling into the space of your hips. And keeping your knees bent, find our bridge pose next. So you find your bridge pose, heels grounded beneath your knees, feet about hips distance, take a really big inhale. Your exhale, begin to push through your feet, navel pulse to spine, and begin to lift your hips, breathing your pelvis towards the sky. Feel your big toe mounds anchored to the earth, inner and outer heels equally grounded. You find the balance of effort and ease here, space and strength. Collarbones spread wide across your chest. Clear through your low back. One more slow cycle of breath here. Take a nice big breath in. And upon your exhale, start to descend your hips back to the earth, using the strength of your body the whole way down. Place your pelvis to the earth. Soup to Baddha Konasana, bring the soles of your feet together, let your knees fall open wide. As you settle into your space of your butterfly, Feel your shoulder blades in connection to the earth. Feel the groundedness of your hips, the contact between the outer edges of your feet and your yoga mat. Tune into the beat of your heart and the rhythm of your breath. the pulse of your heart, your breath, these inner rhythms signaling to the life that's moving through you. The energetic resource that offers you each moment of each day. These two inner rhythms that have been consistent and consistently present with you since you entered this earth. Now for your next breath or so, as you start to feel complete, take your time to gently reach down to your outer thighs, slowly gather your knees back into your body. As you pull your thighs to your chest, offering length to your low back, option to curl your nose up to your knees, tucking through your chin, shoulders out of ears, take a nice big breath. And your exhale, let your head and shoulders drop back, revisiting our twist from the beginning just for a moment, knees fall to the left. Noticing any shifts and changes from the start of your practice to this twist here now. One big breath in. One slow, complete exhale. Inhale, we'll guide your knees to center. And exhale to migrate your legs over to the right. Same, same twist, second side. As your knees rest heavy to the right side of your mat, left shoulder drops heavy to the earth. Take one deep breath. Slow exhale out. Now inhale through center one last time. As you exhale, slowly send your limbs long, finding your way into your Shavasana. 
Maybe gently tucking your shoulder blades together behind your heart to create openness across your chest. And as you settle in, let your eyes drop shut. Maybe invite a deep inhale through your nose. Maybe an open mouth exhale, letting it go. And as you settle into the space that your practice created, not just in your body, the space that you've cultivated through your heart and your mind as well. You might revisit the intention of ahimsa, nonviolence, once again. Just noticing what shows up now after moving and breathing and making space. Perhaps using a moment of your Shavasana to also contemplate how you can take this practice of Ahimsa with you off of your yoga mat into your day-to-day -day interactions, conversations, connections, and experiences. And if your mind begins to get busy Drifting to the day ahead, the tasks that are waiting for you after your practice. Can you give yourself one more minute of being completely present to the beat of your heart and your chest and the flow of your breath in and out of your lungs? The Himza asks us to treat our relationships with care and compassion, to do no harm when it comes to our relationship with ourselves, with each other and the world around us, with the earth. And so letting this practice and Ahimsa inspire us as we move into the rest of our day and the rest of our week. We'll bring our hands to heart center. Pausing just for a moment of gratitude for this practice, our bodies and our breath. Take a deep inhale in. And then open mouth, exhale out. May yoga offer us a path to compassion and may our practices serve as our teachers, leading us to live with greater authenticity and to love more deeply each and every day. Thank you so much and namaste.